seculosity, how career, parenting, technology, food, politics, and romance became our new religion and what to do about it, by David Zoll. In the modern world, the pursuit of secular activities and values often takes on the characteristics of religious devotion. David Zoll, in his thought-provoking book Seculosity, delves into the ways in which various aspects of contemporary life, such as career, parenting, technology, food, politics, and romance, have become our new forms of religion. Zoll not only identifies this phenomenon but also offers insights into how we can navigate it and find a more authentic sense of meaning and purpose. One of the central arguments Zoll makes is that secular society has not eliminated the human inclination for religious experience but has merely shifted its focus. Rather than worshipping traditional deities, people now invest their faith and devotion in secular pursuits. Zoll calls this phenomenon seculosity, and argues that it often leads to a sense of never-ending striving and anxiety as individuals seek to find meaning and salvation in these secular endeavors. Career is one of the domains where seculosity is prominently displayed. Zoll highlights how many individuals invest their self-worth and identity in their professional success. The pursuit of career advancement becomes a form of religious devotion, with the workplace serving as the altar. This can lead to a relentless drive for success, burnout, and a sense of emptiness when career goals are not met. Zoll suggests that finding a healthier balance between work and personal life is essential to breaking free from this secular trap. Parenting is another area where seculosity can take root. Zoll discusses how modern parenting often involves the pursuit of the perfect child and family life. Parents may exhaust themselves trying to provide every opportunity for their children, resulting in a form of idolatry where their children become the center of their universe. Zoll encourages parents to recognize the limitations of their control and to embrace imperfections, both in themselves and their children, in order to find more meaningful and authentic parenting experiences. Technology, particularly in the form of smartphones and social media, has become a powerful source of seculosity. Zoll argues that these platforms offer a constant stream of validation and affirmation, leading individuals to seek approval from others as a substitute for genuine self-worth. The relentless pursuit of likes, shares, and followers can create a sense of addiction and anxiety, trapping individuals in a cycle of seeking validation from external sources rather than finding true contentment within themselves. Food and health consciousness have also become arenas of seculosity. Zoll discusses how the obsession with dieting, fitness, and body image can lead to an unhealthy focus on one's physical appearance as a source of self-worth. This obsession with food and body image can become all-consuming, with individuals believing that their worth is tied to their ability to adhere to strict dietary and exercise regimens. Politics has become a source of polarization and seculosity as well. Zoll observes how people often invest their identities and moral values in their political affiliations, leading to a tribalistic mindset. The relentless pursuit of political victory and the vilification of opponents can create a sense of moral superiority and self-righteousness, further entrenching individuals in their secular beliefs. Romance, in the form of romantic relationships and marriage, can also be a source of seculosity. Zoll discusses how the idealization of romantic love can lead to unrealistic expectations and the belief that a perfect romantic partner will provide ultimate fulfillment. This can lead to dissatisfaction and disappointment when reality falls short of these lofty ideals. Throughout Seculosity, Zoll offers a path toward breaking free from the grip of seculosity. He emphasizes the importance of recognizing our human limitations, embracing imperfections, and finding a sense of grace and acceptance. 
Zoll encourages readers to seek meaning beyond the secular pursuits that often lead to anxiety and burnout. In conclusion, Seculosity, by David Zoll, provides a thought-provoking analysis of how various aspects of modern life have taken on religious characteristics, leading to the phenomenon of seculosity. By examining the domains of career, parenting, technology, food, politics, and romance, Zoll sheds light on the ways in which individuals invest their faith and devotion in secular pursuits. However, he also offers a path toward finding a more authentic sense of meaning and purpose by recognizing our limitations and embracing grace. This book serves as a valuable reflection on the contemporary human condition and a guide to navigating the challenges of seculosity in our lives.